And I can't think of a more positive story than promoting the, the life of, of one of the area's uh, most well-recognized heroes, Francis Pegamagabo. And to join us today to talk about that is his great-granddaughter, Teresa McInnes, who is the counselor on Wasoxing First Nation. And Teresa, really appreciate you taking the time to chat about this. Um, specifically, we're talking about the possibility that your great-grandfather may be showing up on one of Canada's uh, $5 bills in, in the near future, hopefully. Um, so tell me a bit, first of all, Teresa, just, uh, you know, um, I know we learned about this last November. What were your initial thoughts in, in hearing that he had been shortlisted um, for the $5 bill? Well, when I saw it, I was very excited. Um, I think this is going to be a great honor, um, not only to um, the, the family that are here now and uh, his past family, like there were two surviving sibling, siblings that tried to get Francis honored in their lifetime, but they there were many roadblocks and um, I know that this will be like, I, I'm just hope that this happens because this will be so great for um, the First Nation people and non-First Nation people because like, you know, he went to war for all of us. It wasn't just, you know, for the Indigenous people. Teresa, you've, you've played a, a fairly large role in, in bringing a lot of the details of your great grandfather's life um, into the general public, doing research and, and um, finding more information about his story. Just, you know, tell me about that process of how you've been doing that and, and how it has helped uh, make his name a lot more recognizable in Canada. Well, I've been, I've been I'm on a counselor, as you know, for with, with Soxing First Nation. And it's my 10th year. And uh, when I got on to council, that was one of the things that I was assigned to was to carry on the legacy of Francis. And like, I was truly honored. And this has been a learning experience for me because um, as you know, Francis died in 1952. Well, I was born um, August 52 and he had died two weeks early, like before me, I was born. So um, I never got to know him, but you know what? Since I took on that, um, carrying that legacy on, I've learned a lot about Francis, um, very respectful man, and, you know, like uh, a great family man. Um, and you know what? When he went to war and came back from the Great War, he came back still fighting for his First Nation people. And um, that is something that I truly admire. And um, I know um, I was asked many times to run for a chief myself but I thought no I think I'll just let him um, have that role <laughs> uh, but I'm so proud like I really am well you know going back to this this five dollar bill thing I mean obviously this would be the first time that we'd have a, an indigenous citizen um, you know monikering uh, one of our our uh, our, our pieces of monetary uh, paper here, you know, I mean, my, that really, in a time where I think we're really trying to open these, um, open the communications, but also really spread out the information about um, our history, uh, not just as Canadians, but as an Indigenous population as well. Um, I'm sure that plays a, a big role in, in helping move that forward. Well, it, it, for me, it's truly reconciliation. Um, as you know, the history of um, the many things like residential schools and uh, the 60s scoop, that's the modern. But I know Francis was a true advocate of in his time when he represented his role in council and as a Supreme Chief of um, the National Indian Brotherhood, which is known as AFN today. He um, was fighting for our eight, um, uh, 1850 Robinson Huron Treaty rights, and and it's interesting because here I am, um, this this time still we that's on our table right now. We are trying to settle that, and uh, over a hundred years, and you know it's just like real good history, and um, it, I'm so proud that he did it. Now here I am. Um, trying to, you know, settle that for our First Nation people. And this would truly, uh, like, it's reconciliation. Yeah, I think if anything, you know, it, I, I'm very hopeful that we do see his face on this bill. But if we don't, at least this is brought forward 
more recognition of Francis um, to the general public as much as it's already been. His name has been put out there, um, you know, I, I, because of the news reports, because of things like this that we're doing talking about it. You know, it, it makes people more curious, right? It makes people want to know more about who this man was. Right. I think that's so important because that history um, is so important. Um, like, I, you know, it would it would make us proud if it would be introduced into the uh, curriculum because I think that's history that you do not want to forget and that our First Nation children, not only First Nation, but other, um, you know, the, the non-Indigenous people as well. And um, so, yes, I think it's just a great thing that, you know, if this happens and if it doesn't happen, yes, then he's exposed uh, more uh, to people wanting to know who this man was. Teresa, before I let you go, I wanted to give you an opportunity from all the research you've done and everything. Do you have a, a favorite story about Francis that you'd, you'd want to share with us from, from what you've looked into the past about him? Um, I think true. I think uh, really just... Um, you know, hearing the story about when he went to war, um, like he was trying to prove something that First Nation people can do this. And I think it, like I'm proud that like he was a fighter in, in so many ways. Like and um, so, you know, he wanted to prove himself and he did by going to war, coming back um, from war. Um, that really makes me so proud that he was able to come home and, and represent his people and just keep that keep on fighting and i think that it's outstanding that you know that's what he was and a uh, very respectful man a uh, very uh good family man and who loved people from not just our people but um the non-indigenous people as well well here's to hoping that the bank of canada decides to continue his recognition on our five dollar bill uh, thank you very much, Teresa, for taking the time today. I really do appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to the good news coming forward about him in the near future. 